According to Haim Eshed, a former Israel space security chief, they've made the bold claims that the United States and Israeli governments have been in contact with a galactic federation of aliens. The post immediately went viral online, with some people making fun of the claims, while others said this just backs up what they've been saying for years, and this is that the governments have knowledge of aliens, and that they've been in contact with them for many years now. Others though were excited by the news, and said that this announcement is actually a test, to see how well people would take it and to see if people would start panicking. Escher told daily Israeli newspapers that the US and other top officials are currently in contact with aliens, and have been for quite some time now. They went on to say that these aliens are part of the Galactic Federation. Eshed isn't just some random person either. He served as the chief of the Israeli Space Security Program for almost 30 years. He went on to say that the Galactic Federation and top officials from our planet have met and have agreements on researching and learning about the fabric of the universe. Interestingly, Eshed claims that President Trump was actually on the verge of releasing this information to the public, going on to say that he thought the public deserved to know the truth about what was going on. According to Eshed though, the reason President Trump didn't release this information was because the aliens stopped him from doing so, saying that if their existence was told to the general public there would be mass hysteria. Escher disagreed with these statements and said that he thinks the world deserves to know the truth about what's going on. Escher said that because of how respected he is in his field, his words should be taken seriously. He went on to say the following. If I'd come up with what I'm saying five years ago, I would have been hospitalized. Today, they're already talking differently. I have nothing to lose. I've received my degrees and awards. I am respected in universities abroad, where the trend is also changing." End quote. It's interesting how many officials have come forward in the last few years to talk about unidentified flying objects, and the fact that government officials have also known about them for several years. This has caused some who are on the fence about this topic to start taking it more seriously. One person said the following, this is what annoys me about skeptics. When ordinary people come forward with their encounters and theories that just brushed aside, stating that these people don't have the qualifications to make these sorts of claims, but when an official comes forward and makes the same claims they still don't believe in, when are people going to start to open their eyes and minds to these announcements? It's very obvious that something is going on here. Within the last five years alone, governments have been much more open about UFOs. They are testing us to see what our reaction is like. And so far, it just consists of skeptics being so close-minded that they don't even believe these claims when they come from government officials. End quote. Another UFO researcher said the following. I've interviewed some officials, and although the majority of them are careful about what they say, I'll never forget what one said to me during an interview. He said that nothing will change unless people become more open-minded and stop panicking when this news comes to light. The fact that people still question this when high-up officials are literally spoon-feeding us this information is crazy. They are handing it to us and we still choose to ignore it. That's the other aspect that needs to change. People have to stop being so close-minded and start listening to what these people have been telling us. The truth has been in front of our eyes for decades now. It's up to us whether we advance to the next stage or stay in the dark. The sooner we open our minds to this, the sooner we can move forward as one. End quote. It was only a few months back when we were told that high up officials in the Pentagon have recovered off-world graphs. With all of the recent issues plaguing the United States, you can imagine why senators would be on the edge during any briefs on issues of national security, as well as the seriousness associated with such meetings. However, nothing could have prepared them for the strange national security debriefing featuring senators from all across the country. They alerted them that the United States Defense Department claims to have captured a craft not from this world, 
The United States Department of Defense will often hire private contractors for the purpose of independent review, labor otherwise not available under the government's control, or just for the express purpose of increased personnel without the legal responsibility of said hired labor, with the freedom to engage in plausible deniability. For astrophysicist Eric W. Davis, this appears to be the primary reason as to the purpose of his hiring for a clandestine Pentagon UFO project, known as the Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force. According to the astrophysicist Eric W. Davis in the account he provided to the New York Times, the scientist was engaged with the UFO investigation team since 2007, being an integral piece in the now declassified and discontinued UFO program known as the AITIP an acronym for the Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program. Despite the program officially being discontinued, Eric W. Davis claims that the new investigation team referred to as the Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force quickly took the place of the Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program, and this was within the Office of Naval Intelligence. A declassified Senate committee report surrounding the program also detailed that the purpose of the team was to completely standardize the collection and the reportings on all sightings of unexplainable aerial vehicles across the United States. As mundane as the collection of reports surrounding unidentified flying objects might be, this was not the only goal and accomplishment of the secret investigation team. According to Eric Davis, the astrophysicist claims that the United States Department of Defense is in possession of a recovered off-world craft that is verifiably not made on our planet. His story detailed to the New York Times claims that Davis was tasked with giving classified briefings to defense department agencies, the Senate Armed Services Committee and the Senate Intelligence Committee last October. During multiple instances of recovered materials from extraterrestrial events, Davis details that he was unable to determine the source of the materials that made up the recovered artifacts, most likely being offered metals and materials that could not have been terrestrial in nature. So what do you make of the claims that our governments are in contact with aliens? And what do you make of the idea of there being a galactic federation? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.